The 14th Dalai Lama was born on July 6, 1935 on a straw mat in a cowshed to a farmer's family in a remote part of Tibet. According to most Western journalistic sources he was born into a humble family of farmers as one of 16 children and one of the three reincarnated Rinpoches in the same family. On February 5, 1940, request to exempt Lama Thondup from law drawing process to become the 14th Dalai Lama was approved by the central government. The 14th Dalai Lama had become the joint most popular world leader by 2013, tied with Barack Obama, according to a poll conducted by Harris Interactive of New York, which sampled public opinion in the U.S. and six major European countries. The 14th Dalai Lama was not formally enthroned until November 17, 1950, during the Battle of Kamdo with the People's Republic of China. On April 18, 1959, the 14th Dalai Lama issued statement that in 1951, the Dalai Lama and the Tibetan government were pressured into accepting the 17-point agreement for the peaceful liberation of Tibet by which it became formally incorporated into the People's Republic of China. The United States already informed the Dalai Lama in 1951 that in order to receive assistance and support from the United States, he must depart from Tibet and publicly disavow agreements concluded under duress between the representatives of Tibet and China. Fearing for his life in the wake of a revolt in Tibet in 1959, the 14th Dalai Lama fled to India, from where he led a government in exile. With the aim of launching guerrilla operations against the Chinese, the Central Intelligence Agency funded the Dalai Lama's administration with 1.7 million U.S. dollars a year in the 1960s. In 2001, the 14th Dalai Lama ceded his partial power over the government to an elected parliament of selected Tibetan exiles. His original goal was full independence for Tibet, but by the late 1980s he was seeking high-level autonomy instead. He continued to seek greater autonomy from China, but Dolma Jairi, deputy speaker of the parliament in exile, stated, if the middle path fails in the short term, we will be forced to opt for complete independence or self-determination as per the UN Charter. In 2014 and 2016, he stated that Tibet wants to be part of China, but China should let Tibet preserve its culture and script. In 2018, he stated that Europe belongs to the Europeans and that Europe has a moral obligation to aid refugees whose lives are in peril. Further he stated that Europe should receive, help and educate refugees, but ultimately they should return to develop their home countries. In March 2019, the Dalai Lama spoke out about his successor, saying that after his death he is likely to be reincarnated in India. He also warned that any Chinese interference in succession should not be considered valid. In October 2020, he stated that he did not support Tibetan independence and hoped to visit China as a Nobel Prize winner. He said, I prefer the concept of a republic in the People's Republic of China. In the concept of republic, ethnic minorities are like Tibetans, the Mongols, Manchus, and Xinjiang Uyghurs, we can live in harmony. Thank you for watching Wow Me Say.